Hey guys, some little blues in E fun, big surprise I know. Um, just a good warm up exercise for, for the right hand really more than anything else. And this is something that I play uh, very regularly when I just pick up a guitar and I really don't have any idea what I'm going to play. Blues that is, especially blues in E, I don't know what it is, but it just feels right every time. So anyway, in this case we start in E, as I said, a regular E chord. Then we're going to need an E7. Which is the same as an E chord, except that you add the pinky to the third fret of the B string. Then we're going to need an A chord and an A7, which is the same thing as an A chord, except that you lift the uh, Johnny Cash finger off. Know that you can do it again with adding the same position, just a regular E7, or probably A7. Then add your pinky to the third fret. Um, of the uh, high E string. And you can play with that if it has an accent of sort. Especially in transition when you before you go back to the E, uh, the e chord. That sort of, of a thing. Then a B7. And uh, that's about it. If there's anything else, I'll, I'll mention it. That's the pattern. So as you can hear, uh, it's only you want to be playing two chords here, an E and an E7. In terms of technique, um, two things we're going to be looking at. One is going to be finger picking with your right hand, and the other one is pull off from the E7 to a regular E by simply lifting the pinky. But instead of just lifting it, you sort of drag it and snap that string back. Look at this first. I'm going to get closer to the camera so you guys can see my hands better. Hopefully, anyway. Let me try and find a good angle. That was not a good angle. <laughs> Let's try this again. So, as you can see, I'm in a regular e, uh, e shape here, E chord shape, and at some point, I'm going to add my pinky to make an E7. So, E, E7. Back to E, back to E7. Here with the pinky. Now, as far as my right hand is concerned, this is where most of the uh, action takes place, I guess. Uh, for this part, anyway, let me reposition myself in order to try and give you a better angle. Um, so, I'm going to be using my thumb to do the bass. And also to mute. I like to use this part of my thumb right here in order to mute the string. See? You can almost hear it slap. I also use the other fingers, the other picking fingers, to pull and slap back down to mute. Okay. So my thumb is going to do this then my fingers, so I'm in E still, my other fingers are going to pull these three, one per string, starting at the, uh, the D string, you see that I can pull at the same time, so thumb, So we do thumb, fingers, and then we switch to E7 by adding that pinky at the third fret of the B string. So thumb, pull, mute, and then pull an E7. Note 
that when I'm doing the E7 part, my thumb migrated from the low E string to the A string, because again, my thumb is doing the bass. Mm -hmm. So every time I'm picking on an E string, pardon me, on an, on an E chord, my thumb is on the low E string. Every time I pick on an E7, my thumb is now picking from the A string. Once you mute it, you can change your, uh, your chord shape from E7, which is where we were at, to A. And do the same thing. A to A7. And if you want to add some spice, while on A7, as we said, add the pinky at the third fret of the high E. Back to E, E7. Then you go to your uh, to your B7. In this case, with my right hand, what I'm doing is arpeggioing. Starting with a thumb on the A string, mute, switch back to A, same arpeggio. Note that here again I probably would add the pinky, add the third fret in my A progression, pardon me, my A, uh, A chord over here, Woo! to get that high note. Back to the original motif on the E and E7. That's it. That's all there is to it, guys. So feel free to make your own variation of picking. You can even like get more. You know, whatever you want to do. Uh, you don't even have to pick. being to get used to uh, um, changing and picking with the right hand and finding a rhythm that works for you in a good groove and then uh, then giving it a shot uh, and then after that just feel free to uh, to change it around and play with it twist it every which way it's a good good exercise to uh, to warm up the fingers specifically on the picking hand and uh, it can be kind of fun I hope you enjoyed this be well <laughs>